Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So uh, welcome to your readings for the month of October 2018. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and returning if you are doing so. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And because these are general readings, the energies can be switched. They can go either way. So just take it as it resonates for your specific situation. And if, does, if something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit because then that will only confuse you. Yeah. Um, I do want to extend a very happy birthday to all of the Libras, since in the Western system, we are in Libra season. Happy, very, a very happy birthday to you and a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios. Yes, because we will be moving into your season in late October. Now, if you are you, if you resonate more with the Eastern system, of which I do personally, then we are still technically in Virgo season. So very happy birthday to the Virgos out there that resonate with the Eastern system. Yeah. Um, if you don't know which side you resonate with more, uh, I have provided some links in the description box below. If you like, you can go to those links and you can put in your birth uh, data and calculate your, your birth chart for both the Western and the Eastern system and see which one you resonate with. For me personally, I grew up believing I was a Taurus sun, but then when I started investigating and learning about Eastern astrology, I learned that I'm actually an Aries sun and that kind of fits a lot better. I resonate with that much more. There is no absolute answer as to which system it's, is better. It's really all about what you resonate with the most. And of course, depending on no matter which side you're on, still watch the videos. They can resonate at whichever, in whichever way is best for you. Okay. That is all your decision. Either way, the readings are here for you to watch. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit of shop talk. I am available for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can get my email address from the description box below, as well as a list of all of the readings that I offer. Um, if you cannot decide which reading would work best for you after going through the different options, you're still welcome to email me and we can chat a little bit about what is going on with your situation and I will help you decide which reading would be best for you. Yes. I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. If you would like to schedule a time to meet with me and have an in-person reading, in -person reading for face to face, you can find the link to the website for Om Shanti in the description box below. And once you get to the website, you will find their phone number. You are encouraged to give a call and let them know if you would like to book a reading ahead of time. Otherwise, walk-ins are 100% absolutely welcome. Just come on down whenever you have a chance. Yeah. For the readings this month, we're doing the same as we did as last month. So we're go using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, you guys. It's so pretty. And then, of course, we're finishing out with my best friends, the unicorns. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So... I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to the readings, guys. <laughs> Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the month of October 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? All right. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Aquarius for the month of October 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius. So I'm just gonna give you guys a few shuffles here and we'll see what we've got for you. Aquarius. All right. 
let's see what we've got here. It's gonna cut the deck. Boop. Okay. Overall energy for you, Aquarius. We're starting you out with judgment. Okay, so there's a higher calling that you're either answering or needing to answer. Okay. Got the Ten of Wands. You've got the Six of Cups and the Four of Swords. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing childhood wounds here. Okay, so there's t it's time for some healing. It is definitely time for some healing, Aquarius, because you're, you're, you're carrying all of these burdens here with the Ten of Wands. Um, and it's messing you up. I'm hearing it's tripping you up. It's just too much. You don't, and you don't need to be carrying this anymore. There's literally no reason for you to be carrying these, this weight any longer. Cause all of this, all of this comes from your childhood. Okay. If it's not your childhood, it's the past. Please excuse the loud music <laughs> rolling by. Just going to give that a second. I apologize, guys, for the noise coming from the street. I did just move into a larger room in my apartment, but that room is also on the street side. <laughs> anyway, if this is not from your childhood, this is a past life wound, or this is just from your past. This could also be someone from your past, okay? Um, I'm picking up an energy of maybe it's time to let this burdensome relationship go. Could be a soulmate of some sort, okay? Either way, there's healing that needs to be done here. You need to take a break and really assess the situation from a different point of view or just take a time out. Because either way, you're, you're overburdened here, Aquarius, okay? For the first half of your month, the current energies, you've got strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But this is you potentially finding the strength to persevere or to break free. Strength is coupled with the King of Cups here, okay? So you could be connecting, you also could be connecting with a water sign, okay? This could be, this could be the uh, water sign that um, you are potentially in a relationship with that's really burdensome. This could be that person from your past. Uh, it could be a relationship that you've been in for quite some time that maybe you need to gather the strength to break free from. Um, or maybe conversely, I'm also picking up that maybe you are needing to gather the strength to move forward towards someone that is a King of Cups. Okay. Um, this also may be needing to have the strength to allow your emotions or to allow your feelings to be known. Okay, to express your feelings. Because to me, the King of Cups is very expressive with their feelings. The Queen of Cups kind of is less expressive. She kind of just keeps them to herself a lot of the time. But the King of Cups, you see how he's leaning forward here? He's not afraid to speak his truth when it comes to his emotions. So you could potentially be needing to have the strength to speak up about how you truly feel about something or someone, okay? Second set of energies, you've got the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, this could be a commitment. You could be in a marriage. Um, you could just be in a committed relationship. Um, maybe these burdens are put upon you by some sort of societal structure. And you're needing to speak up, having to have the strength to speak up against that. To strength to break free from the status quo. Yes? Uh, the Hierophant is coupled with, the, look at that, the Eight of Cups, needing to, <laughs> needing to walk away from the status quo, guys. Either needing to walk away from a commitment, a marriage, uh, a, a commitment could be in a romantic sense. A commitment could also be in a social sense, like if you're a part of some sort of social group that no longer resonates with you, is really burdensome for you, is very tiresome for you, maybe it's time for you to step up speak up and release yourself from these burdens, okay? It could be something that you've been associated with from childhood or at least just for a very long time. But either way, your true feelings on the situation need to be known, okay? 
This is either you, Aquarius, or this is a cross-watcher, someone you're connecting with. This is a general reading, guys, like I said earlier. It's a general reading, so it could take it as it resonates. It could really go either way. The, ener the energies are interchangeable, all right? The challenge for the first half of the month, if things aren't challenging enough, but look at this. What was I just saying? Somebody needs to speak their truth. Well, the challenge is, boop, the Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. That is coupled with, <laughs> the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles for me a lot of the time resembles or speaks to self-mastery. Um, but I, what I'm really getting here for the most part, if this is not self-mastery for you, and self-mastery in the sense of this, really, of this reading would be honoring your true emotions, okay? Speaking up for what you truly want and what you truly believe in, okay? Now, this also could be speaking up in the sense that you're maybe if you are in some sort of social group or anything like that, um, some sort of whatever, um, you're needing to speak up and your truth be known so that people can, you know, start working together in a better way, okay? The outcome for the first half of the month, two of pentacles. So things becoming more balanced, okay? But you still might need, still might be juggling, though. Two of pentacles is coupled with the page of pentacles, I'm sorry, the knight of pentacles. Okay, so good. So this this energy here with this clarify, clarification of the knight of pentacles is much more of the energy of bringing things into balance. Things being much more balanced and moving forward in a better direction, slowly and methodi methodically with all the pieces put in, being put in the right place at the right time, in the right order, <clears throat> okay? That's good. For your second half of the month, first set of energies, you've got the Four of Cups. This is a rejection. This is a rejection. And I really feel like, for the most part, this is the energies of whoever um, you, Aquarius, or whoever you're, is associating with you is leaving behind. Okay? This is that energy of the person feeling regret or remorse or feeling, like, rejected or whatnot because someone spoke up and was like, I'm not happy in this situation in some way, shape, or form. The Four of Cups is coupled with the seven of pentacles, okay? Understanding how you've gotten to this position. This is this is energy I'm getting from both sides of the equation. Like, I'm literally seeing the four of cups here is someone's handing that pink slip or the rejection offer or whatever, or the, the message of rejection, blah, blah, blah. And the seven of pentacles being like, hmm, well, I guess I've re I'm reaping what I've sown. How am I doing? How is that so here? Okay. How did we come to, how did this come to be? Second set of energies for the second half of the month. Death. Transformation. Change. Okay, Aquarius. Or Crosswatch or whoever. Change, or I'm sorry, death is coupled with Temperance, okay, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio, it could be dealing with a Sagittarius, could be dealing with a Leo, uh, Taurus, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, with the King of Cups here. But change and transformation is absolutely at play here. Once someone speaks their truths, once someone really speaks up and is like, no, this is not what I want, or this is what I want, or this, that, whatever, transformation can happen and now the universe can step in to really balance things out and bring you what it is that you truly want and desire. That's what I'm seeing here in temperance, okay? And that's also echoing the message of self-mastery in the challenge from the first half of the month. Integrating different parts of yourself in order to really receive what it is you truly desire. The challenge for the second half of the month, page of pentacles. Starting over is the first thing I heard but also making some sort of offer potentially or sending a message. Page of Pentacles is coupled with, whoop, the King of Swords discernment. Okay, this could be you, Aquarius. All right, but it really could be you starting, it really could be someone starting over and being as detached as possible in order to really make that work. The challenge also could be remaining detached in a time of 
redefinement in a time of starting over and not really allowing your emotions to really overwhelm you here because you know you find yourself in a new physical state okay the outcome for the second half of the month you got the two of swords indecisiveness all right blindfolded someone doesn't want to see the truth of the situation potentially someone doesn't want to let go two of swords is coupled with <laughs> Yeah, the nine of swords. Someone doesn't want to let go. This could be you, Aquarius, or this could be the person or situation, circumstances that you are potentially moving away from. Okay. Okay. Let's get into your oracle guidance here from the a unicorns. Yeah. Let's see what we got here for you from the unicorns. Whoop. There we go. We've got three of them here. We've got leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. And I really feel like this is something that you're going to do when you step up and let your truth be known. Miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on the way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. And finally... Compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. All right. So this is not only compassion for yourself, but compassion for the other people that you may have been dealing with, that you may have been involved with, that you may be uh, moving behind, moving away from. Leadership is the big message here, and that is what I'm hearing. Literally, what I'm hearing as I'm saying this: leadership is stepping, uh, is standing up for your own. Standing up for your own family, standing up for your own creation, standing up for your own desires, standing up for your own needs, standing up for yourself. If you don't want to be a part of something anymore, let it be known. Leadership. Take the lead in your own life. Yeah? All right, Aquarius, there it is. Thank you so much, so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of November. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.